Hey, good day, folks. Welcome to another episode of Andrew's Life. Now, in case you're wondering uh, what the hell is going on here, I have you guys looking at my utility room here at my house. And there's a good reason for that. Uh, for about a week and a half, I had to go without running water because my main water line broke and water started leaking. So I had to get my water cut off for a week and a half until I was able to get a plumber to come out to my house to replace the water line. And I just now got that done, so I'm back to having running water. But for those of you that are running into a situation similar to the situation I just explained, I mean, I just want to show you guys my little setup. Hopefully it will help out somebody. I just want to show you guys that just because you don't have running water doesn't necessarily mean that your house is inhabitable and you can't still stay clean. Now, granted, I live by myself. So if you got a lot of people living with you, if you got children, this video is probably not going to work for you. But for whoever this video may work for, I want to share my advice of how to deal with not having running water for an extended period of time. Now, back when I lived up in Indiana, you know, this was like over 10 years ago, I purchased a home and I didn't have, and the water line over there went bad, and I didn't have no money to repair the water line because I was broke, wasn't making no money. So, I went at that time, I want to say I, I went over a year without running water over there. So this ain't my first time around the rodeo of having of not having running water. And let's face it. There's a lot of you people that are out here purchasing houses during this crazy housing market where housing prices are insanely high. I mean, houses that were, were, were going for 30 some grand to, I mean, 30 some thousand dollars less than four years ago are now going for triple and in some cases quadruple that price. And in most cases, the mechanics of that house are still in the same condition as they were in back when the prices were much lower. A lot of times when you buy a house that's been freshly renovated, Nine times out of ten, it still has the same old water line. It still has the same old sewage. The only thing that they may have done was work on the inside of the house, like mainly your, all your cosmetics. So, I would predict that for many of you, you're going to run into a situation where something like your main water line is going to go bad. And you may not have the money at that particular moment to repair it. Because all your money is going towards paying mortgages and buying groceries and just surviving. So I, I, I guess for those of you that got good credit and you got available credit, you can always get your water line fixed on your credit. Now me personally, I don't have no credit cards. I don't, I hate them, but I hate them with a passion. I try to utilize the no credit card approach when it comes to all my purchases. I try to buy everything cash money. That's just how I've been for well over 10 years because I refuse to go into debt for anybody. So for those of you that are like that or for those of you that may have stretched your budget out when you purchased your home for triple and quadruple the price of the actual value of the home, I'm going to show you guys my little setup of how I went about keeping clean and keeping sanitary despite not having running water for a week and a half. So we're going to start right here. Now right here, I what I, what I got, I got four containers of three gallon water jugs from Walmart. And typically what you guys see. I make it last the entire week. 
And how do I do that? Go well, keep watching and I'll explain. So that's four jugs, three gallons a piece. Here's now here. Uh, I got my little kitchen. And what you see inside the sink. Basically what I did was like now this basin not now this now this basin is empty because I had to empty that out earlier, but what I had in here was what I did was let's see here. I put a little bit of bleach in here, like maybe a cap full. And then I filled it up with water. And the reason why I put a little bit of bleach in there was to keep the bacteria at bay. That way I could use that water for more than, I could use that water for at least the entire day. But so, so yeah, so just to keep the bacteria at bay, I put a little bit of bleach in there. And this water was the water I used to wash my dishes. And then of course I got my little liquid, I got my little soap. I'm pretty sure y'all know what this is. And I, and then over here, this was the water I used to rinse all my dishes off with. And in here, it's just plain water. I didn't add no chemicals, just plain water. And now we're going to and and here's one of my bathrooms i mean i got i mean here's one of my bathrooms now here i got the little uh bedside commode and you know at first when i had my water cut off I was going down the street to the local gas station to take a number two whenever I had to do that. But, you know, after a while, that gets old. And plus, you got some nasty people at public bath that utilize public bathrooms. So I decided to have my own little setup here at the house. So what did I do? Well, this little, this bag right here, what I did was I opened up the bag. I opened up this bag. I, I lined it up. I lined up, I used this bag to line the toilet up, to line the toilet up. And then, this cat litter that you see, I poured a little bit of that cat litter in the bag. And then I put down the seat. And I squat down and I handled my business. And this toilet ain't that big. So, in order for me to catch whatever I had to do number one wise I I got my little urinal over here and then when I get done taking care of my business number two I take some more cat litter and I pull it on top of my number two and that helps contains the smell it helps keeps the smell down and then what I do is I tie the bag up and I immediately take it out to my garbage and that keeps the house from stinking and the cat litter keeps my garbage from stinking and smelling like doo-doo now so uh, now if I had to just do a number one again here's my urinal and then when that gets full this little cat litter thing that you see not not the cat litter but this used to be for the cat litter so what i would do is i would fill it up with urine and then you know the next morning a little before it got daylight i would go to the end of my property and i would pour it out i mean i got a good size lot so yeah, I will go to the end of my property and pull that out. 
And as far as wiping myself, you know, the, you know, just like normal, I got regular old toilet paper. Now, as far as washing my hands after the fact, here's my little hand wipes. So I would use those hand wipes to wash my hands. And then, of course, we're going to take a walk back to my kitchen. And then when I get done wiping down my hands, I will use some hand sanitizer just to kill the bacteria, just to kill the germs. So people, now we're gonna go back to my utility room. All right, folks, so that is my little setup of how to, of how I survived a week and a half without water. Now, how was I able to Clean myself, real easy. Whenever I go to the gym and work out, after I got done working out at the gym, I just took a shower at the gym. So that's how I took showers. I just took showers at the gym. And while I was at the gym, that's, all, that's also where I went to brush my teeth. So that is, a vid that, that is my video of how I stayed clean. And I kept everything here in my house sanitary, despite having no running water for a week and a half. Hopefully you guys got something out of it, and I'll check you all later. Have a good one.